What's up, YouTube family? I'm back again with another video. If you're new to the Leftover family, please make sure you smash the thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and make sure post notifications are turned on. Without further ado, cue the intro. Chef, 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 everybody, chef, 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 chef. Fifteen untold black history inventors wasn't taught at school. Most people have heard about famous inventions like the light bulb, the cotton gin and the penicillin. But, did you know that many of the products we use every day were created by black people? Here's a list of 15 of them that, until now, you probably didn't know about. Frederick McKinley Jones. If your refrigerator has any produce from your local grocery store, then you can credit African-American inventor Frederick McKinley Jones. Jones took out more than 60 patents throughout his life, including a patent for the roof-mounted cooling system that's used to refrigerate goods on trucks during extended transportation in the mid-1930s. He received a patent for his invention in 1940, and co-founded the U.S. Thermal Control Company, later known as Thermo King. The company was critical during World War II, helping to preserve blood, food, and supplies during the war. Dr. Shirley Jackson. So the ref refrigeration, not the refrigerator in the house, but the ref refrigerators on the backs of the trucks or the front of the trucks that keep like our produce, milk, eggs, whatever, um, keeps it at a cold temperature was, was created by a black man. I did not know that. Interesting, because we still use that to this day. That is like a big thing in every, like in the U.S. and everywhere. So that's interesting. Dr. Shirley Jackson is an American physicist who received her Ph.D. from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1973. She was the first African-American woman to earn a doctorate in nuclear physics at MIT. In addition to her lengthy list of academic achievements, she also has an impressive number of inventions under her belt. Her experiments with theoretical physics paved the way for numerous developments in the telecommunication space including the touch-tone telephone, the portable fax, caller ID, call waiting, and the fiber optic cable. Today, Dr. Shirley Jackson is the 18th president of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. Louis Latimer. Caller ID. So she the one that I can blame for my numbers showed up when people see people. <laughs> no, but that's interesting because we still use caller ID now. At first it used to be one of those things that you had to pay extra for, you know, on phones, but now you get, it, it comes free with every phone. So, wow, she's making millions off that, of just that patent alone, not to mention her other inventions. Hmm, maybe I need to start inventing some stuff. I got some, I, I got some ideas. Latimer. Inventor and engineer Louis Latimer was born in Chelsea, Massachusetts, on September 4, 1848. He collaborated with science greats Hiram Maxim and Thomas Edison. One of Latimer's greatest inventions was the carbon filament, a vital component of the light bulb. His inventions didn't stop there. Working with Alexander Graham Bell, Latimer helped draft the patent for Bell's design of the telephone. This genius also designed an improved railroad car bathroom in an early air conditioning unit. So the next time you're escaping a hot day inside your cool house, don't forget to thank Louis Latimer. Marie. See, they always told us in school that Thomas Edison created the light bulb. So that's kind of false. Sounds like there was more than one person that actually created the light bulb because without his part, Thomas Edison. Wait, was that electricity? I gotta mix that up. But they always told one person and created the light bulb. Without this other man's uh, parts and without his other, he the, the light bulb would never have been created. Huh. Interesting. E. Van Britton Brown. Did you know that the first home security system was invented by a black nurse? Meet Marie Van Britton Brown. 
Although she was a full-time nurse, she recognized the security threats to her home and devised a system that would alert her of strangers at her door and contact relevant authorities as quickly as possible. Her original invention consisted of peepholes, a camera, monitors, and a two-way microphone. The finishing touch was an alarm button that, when pressed, would immediately contact the police. Her patent laid the groundwork for the modern closed-circuit television system that is widely used for surveillance, home security systems, push-button alarm triggers, crime prevention, and traffic monitoring. Otis Boyd. Wow. And you know, it only makes sense because a lot of African Americans at that time, um, not to mention it had to be see I had to be extra careful because you know that's the right time when you had um segregation and a lot of racism um so there were a lot of attacks on black men black women and even children so the fact that she created an alarm a home alarm system that's basically what we use today in the um the pendants like you know when you with the older people so if they fall like the life alerts and stuff that's interesting Never would have thought that. Never would have known that. Boykin. Otis Boykin's most notable contribution to science was likely the circuit improvements he made to pacemakers after losing his mother to heart failure, a contribution that has saved countless lives since. But this single improvement was among a long list of achievements. Boykin had 26 patents in his name and is famed for the development of IBM computers, burglar-proof cash register, chemical air filters, and an electronic resistor used in controlled missiles and other devices. Lonnie G. Johnson. Did you wow. ever enjoy water gun fights as a kid? Well, meet Lonnie Johnson, the man that gave us the most famous water gun, the Super Soaker. Lonnie wasn't a toy maker. He was actually an aerospace engineer for NASA with a resume boasting a stint with the U.S. Air Force, work on the Galileo Jupiter probe and Mars Observer project, and more than 40 patents. Yes, he is also working on the Johnson Thermoelectric Energy Converter, JTEC, which converts heat directly into electricity, but it's the squirt gun he created that has given us all the most joy. Char I wonder why he's got all this knowledge and background. Why create the super soaker? A water gun. Um, this man obviously had to have children, nieces and nephews or something for him to create this, but I never once thought he created a super soaker. I played that when I was young. I remember the super soaker. Charles Drew. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood. Thanks to Charles Drew, that blood is available. Drew was a physician, surgeon, and medical researcher who worked with a team at Red Cross on groundbreaking discoveries around blood transfusions. In World War II, he played a major role in developing the first large-scale blood banks and blood plasma programs. He also invented the, and get ready because this name is pretty charming, bloodmobiles. These are the refrigerated trucks that, to this day, safely transport stored blood to the location where it is needed most. Drew was one of the most prominent doctors working in his field, and one of the only African Americans, during a time when blood donation was still separated along lines of race. Drew eventually resigned from his position with the American Red Cross over their insistence on adhering to this policy. It was 1950 before the Red Cross finally recognized all blood as being equal. Marion R. Croke. In 2013, Marion Croke was inducted into Women in Technology International's Hall of Fame, a move that recognizes her remarkable achievements in tech. Croke holds over 135 patents, primarily in voiceover internet protocol, VoIP, some in other areas. She has another 100 patents currently under review. Today, Marion is an SVP at AT&T, serves as a mentor for women in AT&T labs, and sits on the board for the Holocaust, Genocide and Human Rights Education Center. Lisa so she has 135 approved patents and another 100 that's waiting to be approved. So she's got 235 patents. Man, just think of all the things that wouldn't have ever happened if we would have never ended segregation. Segre 
segregation when it was still legal, that held a lot of creativity back. A lot of collaborations that could have happened sooner could have advanced society a lot faster. Hmm. So Jalopter, if you ever enjoyed an animated GIF on the web, like this one amazing clip of a kitten being scared by an iguana, then you have Lisa Jalopter to thank. Jalopter was integrally involved with the advent of Shockwave, a technology that formed the beginning of web animation. She also played a major role in the emergency of online video, later serving on the senior management team at Hulu. Previously, Lisa was the interim head of digital for BET Networks and ran technology, product and business operations. Today, you can catch Lisa at the White House, in the United States Digital Service. She is currently serving as the Chief Digital Service Officer with the U.S. Department of Education. Philip Imaguali. Due to cost, Philip Imaguali was forced to drop out of school at age 14. But this didn't stop him from becoming one of the greatest computer pioneers of our time. In fact, he's often called, the Bill Gates of Africa. As an adult, Imaguali began studying nature, specifically bees. The construction of the honeycomb inspired him to rethink computer processing. In 1989, he put this idea to work, using 65,000 processes to invent the world's first supercomputer, able to perform 3.1 billion calculations per second. Jesse Ernest. So he invented the world's first supercomputer after dropping out of school at the age of 14. That just shows like the high level of intelligence, perseverance this man had. Man, that goes to show like for those ones, those people out there who think that you have to, you know, go to a, a four year college. Look, this man, he, he did all this without even completing high school. That's something. Ernest Wilkins Jr. Jesse Ernest Wilkins Jr. is one of America's most important contemporary mathematicians. At 13, he became the University of Chicago's youngest student. Wilkins continued his studies there, earning bachelor, master, and eventually earning his doctorate degree in mathematics at the age of 19. He's published papers in mathematics, optics, and nuclear engineering. As a mathematician for the American Optical Company in Buffalo, New York, he perfected lens design for microscopes and ophthalmologic uses. His greatest contribution to scholarship was the development of mathematical models to explain gamma radiation and his work on developing a shielding against gamma radiation. His other claim to fame came from working on the Manhattan Project. At the Manhattan Project, Wilkins worked with future Nobel laureate Eugene Wigner and made significant contributions to nuclear reactor physics, now known as the Wilkins Effect and the Wigner-Wilkins Spectrum. Elijah McCoy Often regarded as one of the most famous black inventors ever, McCoy was credited for 50 inventions over the span of his career. In an effort to improve efficiency and eliminate the frequent stopping necessary for lubrication of trains, McCoy devised a method of automating the task. In 1872 he developed a lubricating cup that could automatically drip oil when and where needed, vital in avoiding sticking to the track. The lubricating cup met with enormous success and orders for it came in from railroad companies all over the country. It was so popular that when other inventors attempted to steal his idea and sell their own versions of the device, companies were not fooled. They insisted on the authentic device, calling it the real McCoy. Garrett Morgan. That's where that comes from, the real McCoy. I thought that come from a... We're not going to say it, but I didn't know that's where it come from. So people tried to steal his idea after he did it because they see how great it worked. And businesses like, oh, I don't, period. We want the real deal. Nobody wants to have a knockoff. But that's, you know what? You know you created something when people try to steal it. You know you've done something right. All you got to do is touch something on the back and keep on moving. <laughs> the rest will fall in the line. Wow. And that's, and that's something they still use on railroad. Railroads to this day. Again, those who survived either of the World Wars thanks to a gas mask have Garrett Morgan to thank. Morgan first created the safety hood, 
to help firefighters navigate smoky buildings, later modifying it to carry its own air supply, making it the world's first effective gas masks. He also had the good sense to add a third position to the traffic signal. Yes, there was a time when traffic signals just said indicated, stop, or go, an addition that further reduced automobile accidents. Mary and Mill So the gas masks that people use now for their extracurricular activities, he created the gas mask. And do you how many lives were saved because of that? Because of the um of the stoplight. I never knew that the stoplight only had stop and go. I thought it was always three. So he invented the third the third one, which is the yellow, uh, as a warning to let drivers know, hey, it's about to change. Could you imagine going through a light and all of a sudden it just says stop? <laughs> and it was like, it says go. Like, how many wrecks were there back then? How many accidents? How many people got hurt, injured, or even die based off of just stop and go. Hmm. We saving lives out here, period. Mildred Davidson. Mary and her sister Mildred patented many practical inventions. They didn't have technical education, but they were both exceptional at spotting ways to make people's lives better. Together, they invented the sanitary belt. Later, Mary invented the moisture-resistant pocket for the belt. While disabled from multiple sclerosis, Mary went on to invent the walker and the toilet tissue holder. So she was disabled from and created a walker. She did that for herself so she could walk. And she made it for the world so other people didn't have to suffer like she did before. That's crazy, y'all. You know, there's so many inventions out here that I didn't even know. You know, some things you don't think about this had to be invented or who invented it. Um, and some of the things that we use now were just invented a few years ago. It's not something that, you know, has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. No, some of this stuff is just not coming to play. And I think it would have been, this stuff would have surfaced sooner and would have been invented sooner if we would have never had segregation to begin with. But again, y'all always remember Stay blessed, stay positive, stay motivated. Make sure you go ahead and give this video a, a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Call the police.